Good afternoon, everyone. Um, we're here today. Associated Press. Um, on the Black Sea Grain Initiative. To be very clear, um, the sanctions imposed by us and others for Russia's aggression in Ukraine have from day one exempted its own food products. Uh, and that includes not just the food products, but the means to, to ship them and insure them. And in fact, um, just now, if you look at where Ru uh, Russian uh, exports are, its exports of food exceed what they were before its aggression against Ukraine. Having said that, to the extent that there have been any uh, problems with things like shipping and insurance, we have throughout the process of the Black Sea Grain Initiative uh, taken steps to, to work through them and to, ad and to address them, including, for example, uh, writing uh, comfort letters to banks to assure them that it was uh, fine to process these transactions and that they wouldn't run afoul of our sanctions. So uh, in the event of um, uh, return to the agreement, of course we'll continue to do whatever is necessary to make sure that everyone can export their food and food products freely and safely to include Russia. We want to see that food on world markets. We want everyone to benefit from the, the lower prices by the, the African group within Niger. Um, just so 